Hey guys, I'm Anthony Rose, and today we are going to be playing through Asterigos, Asterigos, Curse of the Stars. It's an upcoming action game. Um, I actually got to play the demo over at PAX East back in March. So I'm very excited. I've been looking forward to this, but I'm going to go ahead and replay the demo just so that you guys can see it and check it out and determine whether or not you want to buy the game for yourself, which will be out on October 11th. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's see. So I think over at PAX I played Story. So I'm going to go ahead and play Adventure. Begin. In a land far away, a brave girl has come to the legendary cursed city in search of her father. I'll be able to help. I promise. Please, just let me join. Hill, I've made my decision. It's not yet time for you to take part in this mission. No! Papa! And we immediately start off by being passed out on the ground. Huh? By the winds. I blacked out? The magic aura here must be too strong. And here I thought I'd gotten used to it. This is the cursed city of Aphis, after all. Huh. Oh, my things are all gone. Damn it. Just what I needed. Exploration and interaction. Try using the left trigger to move and right trigger to check your surroundings. Press X to pick up a shiny object on the ground that you are looking at or to interact with specific terrain. Always remember to check your surroundings. Herald. Okay. Base combat. Weapon attacks consist of attacks and techniques. Different weapons have different technique effects. For instance, the technique for swords and shields is blocking by raising the shield, while the technique for hammers is a charged attack. Okay. So, squares to use weapons attack, first weapons attack, and L, uh, trick, what did I say trick? Use first weapons technique, and triangle use seconds, and same with L2. Okay. You can use attacks while dashing and even after rolling. The locking feature can also be a great help in battle. So R2 to dash and then roll is the analog. Damn! Some of my weapons are missing. What happened while I was knocked out? Legion Special Orders. I hear I appoint Hilda, a warrior of the Legion, to act on my behalf. I am sending her to the ruins of the ancient city of Ephes. To investigate the whereabouts of the unit deployed to execute Operation Ashwind, and hereby grant her the highest authority in regards to this investigation. The directions to and the location of the ancient city are enclosed. Hilda is to locate the targets and establish contact with them, providing assistance to Operation Ashwind if needed. If she is unable to contact them, she is to report to the command center as soon as possible, by order of the acting commander Ludwig. 12th day, 5th moon, year 462, age of kings. There's been no word from my father or the Legion since they arrived at the cursed city. I need to find them as soon as possible. This is my only chance to prove myself. Hmm. I can't dawdle here. Maybe I should have a look around first. Some salve! Luckily, it's still in the bag. Salve. Salves are a type of potion that can restore a certain percentage of your HP. You can overcome many difficulties by using them wisely. So your D-pad is to quickly use any items. Don't be stubborn. Cover when you need to. Carl. I will say, I love the scenery in this game. Huh? I 
remember I suddenly lost consciousness right as I jumped down. Forget it. At least I'm all right now. I'd better finish my mission first. Also, I really like the design of the protagonist, Hilda. I do destroy. Oh, yep. Okay. That's the hammer. What's this? It's filled with magic energy. A paint I've stardust. never seen such a high purity. Could it be something from Aphis? Aphis. I think I said Aphis. <laughs> Who's that? Ah, oh, you Who's little shit. My weapons! Stop! Put down my weapons, you hear me? Hey! Stop! Damn it! He got through! I need to think of a way to get to the other side. Okay, but we need to go back because there's a box. Great. And oh, what do we have here? Lack of tools to crack hmm. open. If I had my daggers, I could pry it open. Runaway's diary number three. I had to leave Aff. Keep remember Affies. The sooner the better. This is a cursed city. People are going crazy and animals are transforming into monsters. I do not even have a chance to use the magic items I prepared. I will head for the coast. People say that it is the place that is furthest from the gods of stars and that there is an underwater city filled with magic. Surely I can find something that can break the curse in Aphis. I have to get there. Whoever is out there, please help me. I didn't even leave a name. Oh. X allows you to climb platforms below a certain height. I'm so used to like grabbing items with square. I don't know why I keep hitting. But it's clearly it. Got a magicite device up ahead? Before I go over there, um I see something. Is there anything else in the opposite direction over here? Beyond creature or the dashing card from Car Captor Sakura. <sighs> Border out. really pretty. Oh. I shall end it. Conduit. Making contact with a conduit will record it as a location for Hilda's emergency teleportation. Using the rest feature will restore your HP, but will also cause enemies that were previously defeated to reappear. Okay, so they respawn if you use that. Ability opens the gate menu. Switch to ability page. Choose talent and Hilda can invest talent points into the talent tree to learn augmentation skills or perks. You have to mark square the talent that is directly linked to the learned one first. 
Then press confirm X to learn the talent. When you learn new skills or perks via your talents, you can change the configuration of your skills and perks and ability page. Conquer stages by making flexible use of different ability configurations. At the same time, you can also set up your attribute points however you'd like to increase all the stats like HP. Oh, what is this feeling? My body feels normal. It should be fine, right? I do notice that sometimes the dialogue doesn't always, like, link to... It doesn't sync with her mouth. Lock on target. When there are enemies... Well, enemy... Could be enemies. Nearby, you can lock your camera on the enemy. R3, lock onto a target. Use R to switch between two locked targets. Stuff. Looks like you yeah. wanted the hard Use skill. When a battle is not going in your favor, you can turn things around by using skills. However, astral points will be depleted whenever you use skills. R a square. So basically, R1 plus whatever button. Bracelets and my daggers. All right, got them all back. Equip weapons. After retrieving all your weapons, you can open the menu at any time. Change the configuration of your weapons or items. Excellent. Zelda can freely equip any weapon you want in the weapon page. Try them out and determine your favorite weapons and composition. In this game demo, we grant you one skill for each weapon. Total six skills for you to test and use. Set them up in the ability page. For more content to further ex expand. Must be expand your own style of combat, the full talent tree will be accessible in the full game. This will make getting to Aphis much easier. Let's see. Alright, so I'm... Oh, there we go. I was gonna say. Uh, let's see. Abilities. So I have eight attribute points and three talent points. One of each, then add. Okay. And then for talents. Oh, I need to go to the back to ability page to set the skills for you. Oh, Stormbreaker. Continuously deal high damage to enemies within a large area in front of you. I didn't get to do this when I played the demo over at PAX, so this is actually pretty cool. Um, so I have that. Astral Storm. Unleash a storm that follows and ravages the targets in front of you. Uh, North Wind Protection. Create a magic shield that can deflect enemy attacks. 
it will disappear after a certain amount of time or taking several hits. Launch the current target into the air. If the target cannot be launched, knock it back instead. Summon an ice spike in front of you, launching enemies into the air. This skill ignores the enemy's defense state. Blade dance, spin and move at high speed, slashing enemies along the way. You can pass through enemies while using the skill. That's actually good. That. And Sonic Javelin, throw your sphere with great force, piercing enemies in a straight line and pushing them back. Well, I definitely want this one. And then I think North and Shield would be great. And plus that way I don't burn up through my points. Let's see. Okay, now we can. When you attack magic gem, when you attack with your weapon, you can condense the enemy into a magic gem that increases your AP increase rate. Swift shadows rolling or quick steps cost less SP. Rock steady improves your poise, making you less likely to be interrupted by enemies. Let's see, swift shadows. So then from here, increase the rear detection range of enemy dust collector. Increase the amount of stars that's dropped after defeating an enemy. I'm gonna go with do rock steady. Take less damage during salve effect. Increase the range of throwing items. And confirm. Okay. <laughs> Runaway diary number two. Damn it. Those guards could not have been more useless. Eaten by a crocodile of all things. Atrocious. Oh great. Are we in fucking um I almost said Florida, but Florida has gators. So maybe we're in Australia or something. Just kidding. Anyway, what was that fire-breathing monster? I've never seen a beast like that before. Praise to the three. I would be dead by now if that monster and the crocodile had not kept each other occupied. It cannot end like this. I am in a... I am in a... Sh Aristoli. Aristoli. I will not die here. Not like this. Not like this. Uh, but there was a... I wonder if I can get a chest that I missed, because I just needed my daggers.
Was it here? Because I've been to that little point. Yes, there it is. Important item, shabby neck. Father's farewell letter. A farewell letter that Harold wrote to his daughter Hilda. Dear Hilda, being able to watch you grow and witness your emerging radiance is the only comfort I have in this dark and dreary world that has hurt me countless times. Even if you are not fully independent, I can feel your perseverance through your footsteps, your vitality through your cries, and your hopefulness and determination through your eyes. However, I am still not able to let you join this operation, and I have no expectations that you'll be understanding in this matter. I hope you know that everything I do is out of my duty as a commander, and not of my personal selfishness as your father. Since the mission to Afis will permit no turning back, I require elite warriors, not children who have yet to mature. Hey! Give yourself a little more time to hone your skills and become a more level-headed person. My instincts tell me that this is a crucial time in your growth and thus, after careful consideration, this is the best answer that I can give you. I hope that you can remember my advice when you face your own dilemmas in the future. Your loving father, Harold. Thanks a lot, Dad, for having no confidence. See? Okay. I've yet to see what they have for the- ooh, there's outfit changes. Um, in the pre-order for this game. Because I definitely want to pre-order this. I had already decided that when I played the demo over at PAX East. Uh, let's, we can always go with attack. Dodge earlier when you are knocked down but at a greater SP cost. I didn't even realize I have a stamina bar when I run. expanded this since I last played the demo, but I know when I played this as PAX, there's a crocodile boss, but uh, after reading the letter, I guess they added in another boss. Decisions. I wonder if it affects my route. Also, get any more points. 
guess I did. Ooh, two points. Okay, and let's see, triple force, you can add up to three magic gems, addictive, additively increasing your AP increase rate. Or Astral Siphon, Siphon. All skills cost 10% less AP. Seeing as how I like water attributes, I'm gonna go with the crocodile. at the stars. They must have found a way to get in somewhere around here. Oh, wait. Okay. Horned Owl Overlook. Okay, so when I played at PAX, that's where the demo cut off, so... Awesome. We get a little bit more content with this one. Uh, 
that? Northwind Legion Grave. Various items of Northwind Legion equipment are placed upon this grave. Judging by the names written on them, this is Hathor and Gunnarsson's final resting place. This is a Northwind Legion grave. From the looks of it, it was dug recently. Hathor and Gunnarsson. I don't know why you were buried here, but may the wind guide your souls. Here we go. I was gonna say, I can't read that. In the name of the wind, how did I pass out in the wild? Papa would disapprove if he ever found out. I need to pull myself together. I can do this. Weapons are of the utmost importance for us of the North Wind Legion. Every piece is enchanted. It seems these little critters have excellent taste. My necklace. Did it just resonate or bind with the magic device? It's a fairly family heirloom that's been passed down from generation to generation. What's going on? I finally got all my weapons back. Luckily, they don't seem to be damaged. There's no way I could ever an enter Aphis unless fully armed. I don't know. In the name of the wind, I've never seen such a gigantic crocodile with such an abundance of magic energy. What could have happened to Aphis for it to spawn such a monstrosity? Otto's dagger is stuck in the monster. We must have had a fierce battle here. I don't know how long ago this happened. Perhaps they are not too far from here. Papa and the others must be behind this massive solid wall. I'm getting closer. I can feel it. Afthor and Gunnarsson. Carl always told me how they used to take care of me and give me little wooden animal toys. But a north wind, I truly hope they didn't suffer much in their final moments. Side, which I can't access. Okay. I didn't even find where the first diary entry was. I wonder. Can I? Probably can't go back now. Hmm. Judging by its direction. I should be able to get into the city from here. Wow. What a terrifying magical aura. Even the forest is filled with strange monsters I've never seen before. And if that's the case, the city must also be... No, don't think about that. I need to focus on completing my mission. I think that Hathor and Gunnarsson died. What the hell could have happened with Operation Ashwin? Their last report just mentioned someone living in Aphis. There hasn't been any word from them since. I really am worried about them. Hopefully the North Wind can guide me to my father soon. Please. I'll do anything. Hmm. I kind of wish she added a little bit more light in this part. Oh, you better not fall in. Mm, I never did pass the Legion swimming class. How can you be an adventurer if you don't know how to swim? There it is. Don't worry, you diary swim. One. The worthless rich marble. All he does is impose martial law. Who knows if he's playing to real athletes alone? Can we live a asterisk? Looking at the state that the people are in, look at how the army has lost control of all areas. I would say Aphis is gone for good. Fortunately, I made my preparations long ago, and I am getting out of this damn place. I hate this feeling. Like the water's bottomless. Ah, another chest. Pilgrim snuff. I guess these blue markings are to show that you're going off in the right direction.
Hello? Is anyone who? Up ahead. That energy's different from what I've seen before. Is it some sort of magic? Oh, I'm walking. What the? Let us out of here! Why can't we leave? The Archon has ordered that anyone who likes to be dangerous must undergo a strict investigation. I didn't spread the magic curse! I have a past in room of assets. You have to let me leave. I do not. You need to reapply for the past. Go to the plaza and go. for that now. You're coming with me. You what I- I was hitting the deep and I was like, come on, damn it. Stop right there. Wait, are you
please heal. Thank you. defeated the special boss of demo Bion, Vanguard of the Adherents. The game demo ends here. More challenges, explorations, and wonders lie ahead. Take your further adventure in the upcoming launch of Asterigo's Curse of the Stars. And there you have it. So, this is just a small preview of Hilda's adventures. Get ready to enter the magnificent city of Aphes, full of danger and mystery. Discover hundreds of hidden secrets 
battle the legions of mythical foes to find out the truth behind the curse. Pre-order now to get two medallions and exclusive Northwind Tempest armor set. So this game is going to be on Steam, uh, PS5, and I believe Xbox One. I'm not sure if it's going to be on the Switch or any other consoles. But you can go ahead and play the demo for yourself on Steam. And while you're at it, if you really like this game, go ahead and pre-order the game. It comes out on October 11th. Until then, I will see you guys in the next um, video. Take care.